Hey Capricorns, it's time 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for March 2021. Summer resident sign. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Okay. Okay. in the word strength okay and I'm seeing um the full cart coming in for you guys yeah there's definitely some change that's happening uh coming in towards you okay I feel like you guys have been waiting for a change here yeah and it's coming <laughs> good positive change okay if this uh reading resonates with you guys make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell okay and join the family um and um to all of my returning subscribers to all of my returning subscribers thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading i do appreciate each and every one of you we're gonna just grab some messages, you guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> if this message does not resonate with you, check the description box. I have the other zodiac signs listed there. You can check your moon rising and Venus sign. Let's jump into your reading. So, Capricorn, play hard. You guys playing hard? You're laughing. It's essential, okay? <laughs> to your spirit, to your mind, okay? Um, they're saying find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy yourself or enjoy someone uh, that you're with or you're about to meet here. Because I feel like there's someone new here, possibly for you guys, okay? A new beginning and new relationships, new connections here. So find time to, eat, find time to either um, spend with your friends, close friends, new friends, okay? New partner, new love interest, okay? Um, you have interference here. An external party is intruding on this relationship. Jealousy. What? <laughs> We're going to take a look at that in a minute, okay? You have time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Hmm. And you have spiritual lesson here. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. For some reason... This time apart, this interference card, okay, an external party intruding on, on your relationship feels more like a friend. Um, and this spiritual lesson feels like a friend too. It could be love. Let's just clarify this now. Let's use a Pixie Lenormand here. Woo. Okay, you have the house that's coming out. This could be um someone that you know that you invite into your house could be a pisces cancer scorpio king of cups energy that's down here um someone that you're very close with or you call a very close friend this could be even a family member okay don't know why i'm saying that a family member that you trust okay that's interfering or intruding on a relationship that you have with someone or you're trying to establish with someone here, okay? One more card here for Capricorn. Boo. Okay. And you have the Tower card that's coming in here. So that's interesting. Something coming to light or... Um, someone's ego being too big this could be a family member or someone that you call your family and they're actually a friend someone that you're just close with here i feel like they're very judgmental as well so be careful okay um with this person that's what i feel spirit is saying this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson let's go into your cards here there's definitely some change coming in with the death card. I feel like this is more you changing, you going through this transformation um, here, okay, with this energy. You're just letting go of things that do not serve you anymore, even people, okay, possibly even a place. Some of you guys may be 
thinking about relocating um, and just uh, getting away from drama. Okay. Releasing yourself from bad connections or draining connections um, with the death energy coming in here. I see you guys trying to get out of this energy. You may feel with the seven of swords crossing you. This is a challenge that I'm seeing here that someone is very controlling. Family member, friend, or past lover. Okay, whatever resonates with you, but you don't trust this person and you're feeling like you need to get the hell out of Dodge here. Okay, listen to your intuition and accept this change that's coming in um, and focus on a new beginning for yourself. Okay, take back your power here. Okay, so what you need to focus on, um, you have the five of wands energy. Focus on how you feel. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. And um, focus on uh, what drains you here. That's going to help you even more decide uh, in, in making a decision on what you need to release here. Okay, any obstacles and challenges um, or people that are very uh, competitive with you. This could be a friend. It could be a family member here that is very competitive and their ego is very big yeah okay um focus on releasing yourself that's what i feel that uh this five of wands is saying so um you have the sacral chakra showing up in your past position here um so I feel like this is calling for you to just pay attention to your emotions, okay, um, with this past energy here. It's still up, okay, they're saying there's some healing that needs to happen with your sacral chakra here. And I feel like it is involved in how you express yourself there's this need for you guys to stand up for yourself here and take charge of your life. Possibly you put others' needs before your own here. And there needs to be a change. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? Or you guys know this already. If you don't, this is what needs to happen, okay? What's crowning you here is the five of swords. So you may be giving too much to a situation here mentally, physically here, okay? Putting others' needs above your own. Um, spirit is wanting you to uh, evaluate everyone's motives, okay? Um, and bring change into your life here. Whew. Conflict and defeat. You're not defeated here. Okay, whatever ending, there is a new beginning. That's why you have the death card. And in the future energy, you have uh, the... <laughs> I was going to say something else. I don't know why. The full card that's coming in here. All right? So your future energy here. You may be very unhappy about something or someone that you had to let go of. And you may be looking at your future in a very... Um, a negative way here. Spirit wants you to get out of that energy um, and just refocus yourself here, okay? Discontentment and boredom. Don't get caught into that energy here. Find some inspiration. Go out and do something new. Meet some new people. Just, um, yeah, really put yourself back out there and realize and be grateful for the things that you currently have and the things that are yet to come. That's what I feel like your message is here this week. So your suggested approach. You got so many weird cards coming in here and I'm seeing fives rolling in. Okay. Five of pentacles, five of wands, five of swords. So there's this need for you to overcome these challenges that you're faced with. Um, heal your heart and your mind and get back to working on yourself here. Okay, Five of Pentacles is showing up. Um, some of you guys need to hold back giving so much. Maybe you're uh, loaning out money or... Um, Physically, yeah, financially supporting someone that can support themselves here, okay? Um, there's this need for you to take care of your financial matters, okay? And really take notice of what money is going out and coming in. That's what I feel here. Mm. Some of you guys have had a long-term relationship with someone, And you've put a lot of energy and a lot of 
work into this connection. But there, I, I feel like um, Spirit is saying there's this need for you to care for yourself right now. Care for your physical body. Care for your mind, okay? Uh, care for your own... Take charge of your own stability right now, okay? Because this is what you need to know, that you're strong enough to do this with the Emperor card that's coming in. There needs to be a solid plan, a sol solid change here. And you really need to... Um, Mm. be firm in, in a decision here Capricorn that's what I'm feeling you have the throat chakra coming in with the emperor card so this is about you standing up for yourself speaking up for yourself okay um, and yeah they're just basically saying speak up speak up for yourself if you have something to say say it if you feel like someone's taking advantage of you, okay? If you feel like you need time apart from someone, say it. Do it, okay? You have the time apart card coming in here. Let me put this down. Time apart card coming in here. Some distance will help bring clarity of the mind here, okay? So say that you need space and take action here in regards to what <clears throat> is best for you. You have the full card, okay? Your new beginning that is presently available for you here they want you to take a chance on yourself okay you have giving and receiving we're just going to grab some additional messages here they're saying everything is energy capricorn reciprocity give and receive to others um and practice random acts of kindness here these cards <clears throat> are intended to help you manifest what you truly want and the things that you can practice, okay, um, to manifest what you want, what you want here, okay, allowing, relax, enjoy yourself, have faith, allow situations to unfold, answers come through meditation, okay, and it will be the highest outcome. Okay, Spirit is saying love where you are here, Capricorn, appreciates, okay, current situations, ask yourself why you want what you want, and see the beauty in it all here. And you need to do this because it's falling under the Four of Cups, this like not paying attention to what is currently in front of you, not appreciating those things. That's why I said that in the beginning of your reading, Spirit wants you to appreciate your current uh, circumstances and ask yourself why you want what you want, okay? And see the beauty in it all. Your last card here is perspective. Um, it says perspective, gl gaining clarity, see other side, consideration, okay, and taking responsibility for your life, taking control of your life, making firm decisions, saying things and meaning it and sticking to it, basically, okay? Got to be rock solid with the decisions that you make. No coming back, no, no repeats, okay? They're saying, say it and mean it. Say it and mean it this week, okay? We're going forward. <laughs> Let's get your closing messages here, Capricorn. What other messages spirit do you have here, Capricorn? This card coming out again. <laughs> They're saying it. I told you, you're giving too much to some situation. You need to pull back. And you have giving and receiving coming in here, okay? Um, give and take is different to giving and receiving. Taking and receiving are not the same. When we take, whoever we take from may or may not have chosen to give. However, when we receive, choice and respect are an integral part of the exchange here. Let go of any need to take and embrace the harmony of giving and receiving here. So don't make try to make something work, okay? Let it unfold naturally. Um, that's what I feel like 
an additional message is for you and say yes you have the number 66 coming in um they're saying what are you waiting for the answer to your question is yes reading over no just kidding one more card here for capricorn okay so am i gonna find a new love i'm gonna get a new job the answer is yes okay gonna get the truth you may see the truth you may not get it from this person out of their mouth but you will see it clearly okay and it will help you re uh, release um s the things that you need to release in order to have this new beginning okay so internal dialogue is coming in number 27 got nines <laughs> that's coming in here okay nines um internal dialogue well, that's the Hermit card in the Major Arcana here. So there's need for meditation here to bring clarity as well. Your card is saying, Capricorn, we all have an internal dialogue within our mind, a constant stream of inner conversation. Is your dialogue kind, supportive, and affirming, or is it critical and judgmental of both yourself and others? This card asks you to listen to your inner words and, if necessary, take steps to consciously change your language, how you speak about yourself and how you speak about others and how you speak over your life, period. Okay, that is y'all reading. I love you guys. Thank you for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate you guys. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, loves. And I'll see you in the next reading, Capricorn. Bye.